Hey, this is Frank the Pest Geek, and we're going to be discussing class 15 inhibitors of chitin biosynthesis on this edition of the Pest Geek Podcast. Now, what is chitin inhibition? Well, it is what it, we use a product what is known as a chitin inhibitor, which is an insect growth regulator, also known as an IGR. Now, what is chitin? Well, chitin is actually an amino sugar that is used by insects as an element for building that exoskeleton. It's basically a cellulose sugar product that they make is that crunchy exoskeleton that they have in different colors. And what happens is it's produced what is through what is known as biosynthesis. It is the, 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 the coming together or mixing of different elements to create a product. And that's what happens with the exoskeleton. It is a hormonal product that happens in their body to create those exoskeletons. So they're born sometimes without an exoskeleton. Sometimes they go through a molting process and they change exoskeletons, but it, they don't have bones, so they have to create this product. And what the IGR does is it inhibits the ability for them to make an exoskeleton. So a product like Nuvaloron aids in that inhibition. And what it also does, it, it causes the damage in the larval stage when they're young, but it also causes damage in the egg stage. And especially like in roaches or mosquitoes where it damages the larvae. Now, chitin metabolism in, in insect through a product like Nivaloron works mostly by ingestion. It does have some contact capabilities but mostly it is through inject in ingestion. So using a class 15 chitin inhibitor will aid in pest control because it is part of a long-term strategy in every IPM program. So what it does is it could damage the wings of the insect. It could damage part of the antenna. It could damage an eye in the molting process. And then they don't grow up to be reproductive adults. So usually it dies in infancy. And the advantage of using an IGR, it is considered a low risk, low impact product because it is a synthetic hormone that mimics the one they would naturally lose and it keeps it active in the area. Remember that insects have to lose hormone in order to grow by keeping it present it constantly is in the area and therefore it controls usually all stages of growth in an insect. I hope this video has been helpful to you. I hope this podcast has been helpful to you. If it has, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel, click like below and share it with your friends. This is Frank the Pest Geek wishing you a pestacular day. Mm -hmm.